Hello viewers, my name is Joseph. In my previous videos, I showed you how to come up with um, a grid in JavaScript. You know, very much happy because I've seen that I've attracted a lot of viewers who have liked my videos. And that is very good because it shows that my videos are actually helpful to someone out there. So if you like my videos, you subscribe, you like, you comment. You know, be able to respond to those comments whenever I, I come across them. So in the previous videos, uh, I came up with, um, well, I showed you how to come up with a grid on um, HTML canvas using Java, JavaScript. This is the grid that we came up with, a grid that is having big squares and a margin or round like that, big squares and small squares in such a way that we have one big square having small five small squares and um, went ahead and in my sec second video uh, I showed you how to come up with um, the same grid but now this time around having um, an x-axis and a y-axis with the tick marks and um, each side of the um, the x-axis or y-axis has 10 squares rainbow all the way from for example from 0 we have negative 1 all the way to negative 10 from again here 0 to the right we have units 1 to 10 the same with y-axis that is what we were able to come up with in my previous videos now in today's videos we are going to proceed from here and uh, before maybe we go far, it is important that I take you back to the script that we had. Uh, we came up with this script from uh, in my first video, whereby we have a simple HTML script with a canvas. And in this canvas, um, I have my JavaScript um, uh, script there. This is where I started doing my small uh, small squares. You can be able to refer to my previous video and see how we came up with uh, small squares. Uh, the reason as to why we have these values that we have here. The major units or the bigger, big squares that has five small squares in each one of them. This is where we did the scripting up to this point. Now my second video we started here how to add the x-axis and the y-axis and we added the script you can see all the way up to that point that is where we stopped so we have the x-axis here the line that is um, passing in the middle of the grid we have another one that is passing in the middle of the grid the y-axis horizontal uh, vertical to the grid and then there is this script which is for the tick marks and for the ribbles like you can see in this diagram here so uh, basically this scripting is meant for those people who have not advanced so much in javascript as you are going to realize it does not require javascript libraries you don't require to have libraries just javascript uh, basic knowledge basic knowledge in html in scripting or making drawing on HTML canvas that is all what you require to do now um, we're going to see how you can now come up with them um, you can plot a polygon on your uh, Cartesian plane because we have already come up with a Cartesian plane because most of my viewers or I wanted to know how you can be able to come up with them um, to come up with a polygon which is drawn on this canvas, on this um, Cartesian plane that we have come up with. Now what you require for you to be able to come up with this scripting is basic uh, items or basic tools. You require a browser, a common browser like Firefox and so forth. You require um, a notepad and uh, some basic knowledge on HTML and JavaScript then you're good to go. Now let us go now to the next part. Uh, we proceed from where we stopped last time. 
And now I'm going to show you now how you can be able to come up with a polygon drawn on that grid that we have just come up with. And um, as you can see here, I've just added a script which is going to help us um, plot a triangle. I've come up with uh, the script here starting from this point. I've just included this part from the previous script that we had. So plotting a triangle, I've just begun plotting here. And my start, starting point is this point here, which has the coordinates 155 or 155, 155. Then I've drawn a line to 455, 185. And another line to 275, 425. And then I close the path. Now, you will realize that from my previous video, you realize that our grid was 600 pixels, a uh, square of 600 pixels by 600 pixels, and therefore I'm able to do, plot these points on my grid and be able to fit there. So if you save, if you save, if you save the script now, and learn it on JavaScript, oh, sorry, on the browser, you realize that you come up with, uh, will come up with the, the triangle like that. I've already included that triangle on the grid that we had. The script that has brought at, or has brought at this farm is this script here which has uh, these uh, three lines we have this line starting from 155 155 uh, we have 455 185 275 425 and then when you cross the path the line goes back to the beginning and then we have the stroke method here which is meant to help us see the lines that have been drawn and that is how you come up with a polygon on your canvas. Now, when you are choosing, uh, when you're choosing um, the, the points to plot or the polygon that you want to plot, it is very much important that you go back to your grid and uh, look at the properties of your grid. For example, let me show you how we came up with them. We were able to plot a polygon on that grid. You will realize that our grid has um, we have um, the canvas has a width of 610 pixels all the way from here to here we have a margin of five pixel on the left hand side five pixels on the right hand side so the grid which has a five uh, pixel margin all around starts here and ends here and now it has 600 pixel the height again starts here it stops here again it is 600 pixels the x-axis passes in the middle of the grid at 300 pixels from here to here the y-axis again starts here in the middle of uh, this uh, width here 300 pixels at this point 300 pixels at this point and therefore our x-axis and y-axis passes right in the middle of our uh, grid. So you will be able to see from here that the wind of our canvas is given by 600 pixel which is for the grid plus 5 pixel left margin, 5 pixel right margin and now the total is going to give us 610 pixels. The same with the height, 600 pixel for the grid and then we have um, 5 pixels for the top margin, 5 pixels for the bottom margin, and 610 pixels for the canvas. Now, the x-axis passes in the middle of the 610 pixels, which is at 3 or 5 pixels. So this point here is at 3 or 5 pixels. This point here is at 3 or 5 pixels from the top here. All the way to this point. The same with the uh, y axis, 
it is at 3 or 5 pixels from the left. Remember uh, the canvas, this left top corner, that is where we start counting the pixels. So the y-axis is going to be in the middle of this uh, grid. And therefore from this point to this point, we are going to have 3 or 5 pixels. 3 or 5 pixels, and that is where we have our y-axis. Now, again here, you, you will realize that um, if you want to plot a point um, such that it falls on a whole number on our grid, the ordinate for that has to be a multiple of 30 plus 5 pixels for the margin on the grid. How is that? Because now you realize that since we have 5 big square, I mean um, 20 big squares, as you can see from our grid here, from here to here we have 20 big squares. And uh, the pixels number from here to here is 600. So it means that one big square is 30 pixels. So if you want a, your protein to come or to fall on a whole number, then it has to be a multiple of 5. And don't forget that we have a margin of 5 pixels uh, from the left. So you will have to add that 5 pixels on your ordinates so that the point that you're going to plot falls on a whole number. Otherwise, if you don't consider that, your point is going to fall somewhere in the middle of the big squares. Now, for example, here, we are told that if you are plotting a point A, and it has the ordinate, the x uh, coordinate, uh, ordinate as 1, 5, 155, it means that this point will fall um, on um, 155 minus 5 pixels for the margin, divide by 30 um, pixels, and this will be on the fifth unit of our grid. If you look at what we have just plotted here, you realize that let us speak at this point here, the first point which is 155. Where do we have this point on the x-axis? We realize that it is 155 minus 5, which is 150, divided by 30, and that will give us 5 units. If you look count from here, you'll be able to see that there are 5 units. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it is falling on a whole number, which is 5 squares on that point. So that is how you plot a polygon or linear a diagram on the grid that we have just come up with on our uh, on our canvas